One of my very favorite Christmas carols is Deck the Halls with Boughs of Holly. Deck the halls with boughs of holly, fa la 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 la. So what we have here is a very ancient form. Um, and Deck the Halls with Boughs of Holly has the refrain, fa la 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 la. And this actually goes back very far. A refrain is simply a recurring element that keeps coming back. So we have this um, verse, and then the fa la 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 is the refrain. So it ties in really well um, with our Beethoven piece, but this idea of refrain actually um, gave um, impetus to the form rondo. In Italian Renaissance madrigals, we have that form all the time. They used all kinds of fa la 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 la. So you'd have maybe a soloist singing, deck the halls with boughs of holly, and then the group, anyone can sing fa la 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 or tra la la's. Now in Beethoven's piece that I'm using, it's the fourth movement from his pastoral sonata. Pastoral, again. It's the rondo. So the rondo has this refrain that recurs. So it would be refrain and A section, refrain B, refrain C. And it's just a way of integrating the piece. And the, rain, the refrain I'll be using is this from Beethoven. keeps coming back and you'll hear how it'll combine with our tune. So it gets going more and more, but in the middle section I've used Beethoven passages where I really can imagine him just sitting down and kind of getting raucous at the piano as he liked to do, and it gets kind of thick and he's showing off a little bit. But then in the end of this arrangement, you'll hear a very big statement, a Beethoven statement of deck the halls. And if you're careful listening, you might even hear some timpani drums in the left hand. <laughs> 